Hey guys, this is Coffee Chug, and I'm here today with another tutorial to show you how to make fidget spinners. Now I know if you're a teacher, you're going, oh dear lord, why would he teach kids this? Well, I know that there are pros and cons to having fidget spinners in the classroom, but there is some great CAD and development and design engineering principles that can go into making your own. And so I think understanding the process of how to make one is very, very important. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the name of this. Uh, fidget spinner here, this new Tinkercad, and I'm just going to call it Tube Fidget Spinner because we're actually just going to be using the shape here of the tube. So once we get one here, what we want to do is we're going to change the radius here to 15.5. What that's going to do is expand this, this two piece out for us to use. Now what we have to figure out is how thick to make the walls. And so a couple things, um, if you've been making these before, you, you know some of this, but if not, I would like to at least help you um, understand how we're getting these numbers. So the, the standard bearing, skateboard bearing size, um, most people are using the 608, we know that there's a 22 millimeter outer diameter of the actual bearing. I've um, been doing some of this work most people tend to, if you look online tutorials, use 22.3. So what we're going to do in here, if we know that, that a bearing is going to be 22.3 diameter, we've got to do some calculations. So we have a radius of 15.5, and so then we know that the diameter of this tube right here is 31. Because the radius you know, is from the middle point to the outside. So we times that by 2, we've got 31. And then we're going to subtract the 22.3 uh, to consider the size of the bearing and that leads us with 8.7 now because we have two walls if you think about it a wall here and a wall here we need to divide this by 2 and that's going to give us 4.35 and this is the thickness we want to give the walls in order for this to work so now that our walls are a little bit thicker we got our diameter inside here of what we need um, because we got the radius of 15 or 31 across. Now we got our wall size. We know this is going to be 22.3. Now a couple things that you can mess with with this is you can slide this bevel and get kind of an edge that you would like. Um, you kind of play around with that to your liking. Um, for this one, we're going to mess with 2.5. And there we go. So now this is the inside of your... Um, fidget spinner. Now, from here, what we're going to do next is this. We are actually going to make this the height. And so we look at it from the front here. We want it to adjust this. Um, so we know that we look here, uh, we're at seven millimeters um, is the width of this. So we want to do the same thing here. Shift this down here just a little. There we go. And so we want to take this. We don't want this 10. We actually want this to be 7 so it's flush. Um, the smoother, the better. Now we got that. And now we're simply going to do this. We're going to duplicate this piece. So it's Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac like I am. And now we're just going to move these out and kind of get them the way you want them. So there's one there. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now you could get precise if you wanted to to get these all magically perfect proportions and things of that nature. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm not. Put one there. But what I am going to do, I'm at least going to make sure that these two are horizontally aligned. Just so there's some consistency there. You know what, I might bring this one up here. Just a... So I'm now going to align these tools. So I don't want to get all these rings in here. I just want to align this circle and this circle here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hold down. I click on this one. I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to select this object. So it's just these two circles here and not this one. And when I go up here to the align, I can align by these tools. I can see that I'm actually already aligned. But if this was highlighted, I would click here and it would smooth those out. And there, my friend, is a fidget spinner using the tubes. I'm going to go ahead and 3D print this so you can actually see what this looks like in person. But let me know if you have any questions. And if you're designing any, I would love to know. This is a first in a series. I hope to make some more advanced and cooler ones. Uh, but just to give you some tips and tricks and shortcuts on how to use Tinkercad to develop and create your own. This is Coffee Chug. Please give it a like. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. And until next time, with the next fidget spinner concept, stay awesome. All right, so here are the designs after the 3D print. Uh, we're just gonna, this actually works out pretty well. We just take these things off, just pop right off. And this was the one that if you remember, was the really simple one with just the circles. Um, dragging that out. Here's the one that's just um, slightly bigger that we had. And this is the one with um, the tubes. So once you go through and get all this excess off and kind of punch out this extra, I like to use a Dremel to smooth things out. And I can't get that one out, but we will. Uh, so we just use the one, the round with the sandpaper. Now you can't go too fast because the friction will cause the plastic to melt. And so therefore, um, you just go slow and take your time. But it allows us to smooth out all the rough edges and get it looking nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now here. Just kind of getting off all the extra scruff. Uh, more importantly, we can get the holes just right so the, the bearings fit perfectly in there. So sometimes this just takes a little bit of a little bit of work to get that. So you kind of get the idea there. So what we're going to do next is take our bearings um, and just see how they fit um, in there. And sometimes they're snug. In this case it worked out pretty well. It just kind of fit right in there, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and push the rest of these in. Now what I've done sometimes is glue these in if they fall out, but these are in pretty snug. And so the spinning spins pretty well. So what I want to do next is just uh, make these go a little bit faster. So I'm going to show you um, on what I do here. Okay, so what you can do is you can pop this inside track out of the bearings and you can see the actual bearings inside. Now I've done this where I've used WD-40 and other things like that. Um, what I have found to work even better is this 3-in-1 PTFE um, lubricant that reduces friction and wear. I use this on my 3D printers when I'm doing maintenance and work and basically you just kind of squeeze some of that in there. You don't need a whole lot. It makes it go pretty well. So now, when I push that back in there, you should see a difference. Let's see, hopefully my, it works. And here we go, let's give it a try. So you can see that it's going 
much longer this time. Um, what you can't see in the video, I can feel it. I can see this. I can feel some of these bearings getting a little loose. So I'll go back and actually probably just glue these in a little bit. Um, but you can definitely see the difference in spin time um, doing that. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to finish cleaning this up. Probably spray paint it and get it going. But at least you can see that these designs, which take no more than five or six minutes to make in Tinkercad, can lead to a pretty awesome fidget spinner. All right, guys, give me a like if you enjoyed it. I'd love to see your prints, designs, ideas. Let me know any questions you have. And until the next fidget spinner tutorial, stay awesome. And then finally, coming up with a new tutorial, you add the caps and you have pure bliss.